This is Carrie Benefield. I'm a columnist with the Press Democrat. Four weeks ago, my colleague Alyssa Torres pointed me toward the story of Jason and Matthew Benson. In the summer of 2020, the Santa Rosa couple had been selected by a pregnant woman living in Southern California to adopt her baby. The Bensons, along with the baby's mom, Kelsey, hoped for an open adoption. They all wanted this baby to be raised by Matthew and Jason, but to know his mom and hopefully forge a lifelong relationship. In November of 2020, Matthew and Jason brought Sebastian home. Four months later, the Bensons got a call. A man who believed he was the biological father had filed legal paperwork to stop the adoption process. A DNA test proved the man was Sebastian's father. A legal process ensued. The Bensons lost. The adoption was halted when Sebastian was six months old. Matthew and Jason agonized over how to proceed, but in the end chose to give Sebastian back into the care of Kelsey, who would become his primary caregiver. They were devastated, but they remained close with Kelsey, close with Sebastian. They traveled together. They spent holidays together. It helped ease Matthew and Jason's pain, but not entirely. Eventually, they began thinking of kids again. Then Kelsey made an offer. She wanted to carry their baby. She wanted to help these two men who had become family be parents again. Today, Matthew and Jason and Kelsey are trying to finalize a deal with the Southern California Fertility Clinic to help them with Kelsey's surrogacy. Kelsey described Matthew and Jason as extraordinarily selfless in how they handled the loss of Sebastian. She would like to help them move forward into parenthood again. Please read this story exclusively on PressDemocrat.com and in Sunday's print edition of the Press Democrat.